Hey YouTube, we spent all night tonight pretty much just tinkering with this consume list. Uh, we got the initial list from Dunkuro, and we made some I guess, slight, fairly slight modifications. Anyway, to start the list off, we're playing two Arcaspores, two Ancient Foglets. These are, well, one Arcaspore is one of the best fours in the game, so again, we're going to put it in pretty much every monster's deck. Ancient Foglet ends up working very well with both Consumes and the Forktails that are in the deck. And also we have the one Necker, which is, we just needed provisions. It, it's not exciting, I'd rather this not be in the deck, but we don't have any space, so that's what we're working with. Then we got the Vran Warriors, who you would think die a lot. But because your Slyzard and your Barbagazi are such also big threats, the Rans end up living more than you'd think, and when these live, they get a pretty substantial amount of value when you consider the, the Forktails, the Glusty Warps, the Consumes every turn with the Slyzards. And even if they do die, you're often getting value the turn that you play them, because you have a Slyzard in play that's ticking, or you have uh, a Barbagazi that's like waiting to be fed. Next we go on to the Consume Package, where we have the Slyzards, the Barbagazi, the Cyclops, and the Seleno Harpies. These are how we generate our tokens with the Rockus Queen, how we build up a board for Glusty Warp and Ran Warrior slash Forktail combos. Uh, you need to play some number of these. I have been liking this ratio. Slyzard is probably the best card in the deck. It's basically a Ran Warrior, an old Ran Warrior that eats every turn instead of every other turn. And when we're talking about cards like Ruhi and getting eaten, it gets pretty out of hand pretty quickly. We're playing one Rockus Nest. I'm not super big on this card. It's cool with the Forktail, it's cool with the Ran Warrior. But in like a long round 3, you end up hitting row limit, and a Rockus Nest can sometimes be a liability. It's also a 4 for 5, and it's not the kind of effect this deck is really looking for. I'd rather play more consumes or more engines or... Yeah, more consumes or more engines. <laughs> That's really what this deck kind of boils down to. You have things that consume your things, and things that benefit from being consumed or trigger when you consume things. And a Rockus Nest doesn't really do either of those things very well. It just makes your Glusty Warp stronger, makes your Vran Warrior combos a little bit bigger if you get a Vran Warrior to live for a turn. Uh, then we're going into Corinthir. Corinthir is part of the Redundancy Package. Corinthir allows you to either play Kran or Ruhin, typically. Uh, this lets you play Ruhin into multiple rounds. It lets you... If you can't get a Slides Arger's deck in a matchup, you can Corinthir a Kran, and you have six consumes uh, with Zeal, which allows you to either... Generally, you're going to consume your Ruhin multiple times. Like, you'll use two consumes the turn you play the Karen, and you'll save a consume for the following turn. So you consume the Ruhin again. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about Corinthia. You generally don't want to have to Corinthia a Slyzard, just because it's it dies so easily. Uh, we're playing Karen for, again, more consumes. It looks like a 4 for 9, but it's actually a 7 for 9 because of Arrakis Queen. You get the 3 tokens when you consume something. That's something that's worth noting about these as well because of the Arrakis Queen. This is really a 6 for 6, this is really a 6 for 6, this is a 7 for 6 if it lives. These cards are all much better than they look because of your leader. Uh, she Troll. Again, it's a card that baits removal, but it also often grows the turn you play it because of either Barbagazi, a Karen with triggers left over, or Slyzard. Which often comes down to the 6, and a 6 isn't very easy to kill, especially when your opponent's locks are overloaded from the Ruhins. This can very easily just take a game over. You'll see a clip. Uh, in the game section where we're... I think we... Yeah, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave it in the game. I won't spoil it. Anyway, this card can be very, very powerful. We're playing an Operator. Uh, we needed, again, more redundancy. This allows us to play multiple Slyzards, multiple Barbagazis. A lot of games end up coming down to whether you can stick a Slyzard. An Operator giving you an extra copy of Slyzard is really nice. Worst case for Operator, you make a Vran Warrior. And again, having an extra Vran Warrior can just break the game wide open sometimes. The Vran Warrior into Forktail combo is a very powerful synergy. <laughs> you can very often clear like 20 points if you have enough ones in play and your opponent has enough small units as well. Because the Vran Warrior triggers whenever a unit is destroyed, not just one of your units. So if the Vran kills one of your opponent's units, it triggers again. So it gets out of hand pretty quickly. Uh, we're playing Bruhin. This is the card the deck is built around. We want to consume this as many times as possible. It is a 5 point per turn engine alongside the Slyzard. And the whole deck is basically built to ensure that we have access to this in as many rounds as possible through Corinthia, Royal Decree, and Renew. Anyway, that's basically it for the deck. Hope you guys enjoy the following clips, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Not yet up to my standards. The game. Yeah, don't end the turn effects trigger at the end of the game now. rope instead of passing no end of turn effects trigger like botchling will deal a point of damage
Most cards don't work like that. No, in general, end of turn triggers work like that now. There's like a whole Reddit thread about it too. If anything, Cald Caldwell's unique if he doesn't work like that. What? No! Oh, come on! <laughs> what the fuck? They stealth patch that in. It's been like that since Homecoming. It didn't work like that before Homecoming. Oh, God. Uh, this is so over. Like, this, this is such a good card to steal. <laughs> My Forktail is trash now. I don't even want to play Glusty Warp. Can I play Arena games? I'm probably not going to play Arena. Ever. Just wait until I queue into Big Woodland with Consume when they fork tell me. Yeah. This, this deck isn't without its problems. There's a reason I'm not, like, laddering with it. I just wasn't expecting Succubus on my Ancient Foglet to be one of those problems. How? Aw, oh, thanks, dude. I'm just dead. I am just dead. I don't have a death wish in my hands. I've got a pretty silly Glusty Warp. If I pass, he will bleed me. Wow, I, I get to pass and not lose my card. I was not expecting this to actually keep up. I just ran frog. No, just doing your turn. That's what makes the Forktail thing so nutty. Because, like, the Vran will proc on the rest of their board. Like, you'll kill some stuff, and then the Vran will kill stuff, and then the Vran will proc off what the Vran kills. GPUs when you play Forktail, not sure where they come from. Yeah. Understandable. Okay, if he doesn't have an answer to this routine, I think we're fine. Yeah, let's just uh, just give my opponent a slice. Alright, what could go wrong? What can go wrong? Spear into renewed succubus. That could certainly go wrong. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What operator on Vran? Eh, this is fine. In a couple weeks, how am I liking Homecoming Gwent? Uh, my opinion hasn't really changed much since the last day of PTR. I don't like how the metagame's developed. The artifact decks are pretty miserable. I still hate Reveal as an archetype. My Foltos deck not use Gaunter? No. The card's a million provisions. Why? I just said, that card has a million provisions. You also only have so many uses for your full test, so you gotta pick which ones you want.
So we chose to use them on Blue Stripe Commando, Selkirk, and Aquist. What's this getting? Probably a fork tail. Glusty. I think we used Glusty, didn't we? Yeah, we won round one with Glusty. Okay, did buy a grave here. Didn't need it anyway. Wow. Yeah, sure. This seems pretty good. No, my Vrain Warrior is going to die. No! Okay, what do you got? That was fun. This deck's insane. When it's good, it's really good, yeah. Can I finish my 40 ST matches? No. Regis? Regis doesn't do anything. <laughs> Regis is what? Six, nine points? You just hire a vampire? Oh wow, that was almost enough. Oh wait, it was enough. Wait, was it enough? No. One short. <laughs> the top tier decks. Um, big monsters, various Ithne square tall shenanigans, and reveal. I like. No, I, I hate it. <laughs> I like the consume stuff, but I, I hate having to only have one mulligan. It's like somewhat bearable in monsters, because your low provision cards are so strong. Oh, hey, we won coin flip against Aridin. I think that means we win the game. I think about one faction being stronger over the other. Uh, balance is still off, but that's kind of to be expected. They hacked the game together in six months. Hacking Harpy Egg is interesting. It's a card I don't really want to kill. So being able to play the points immediately kind of makes sense. But at the same time, he's not like disaligning anything. What's the reason to use the tack there? I don't know. Maybe he just really doesn't want it to die. Was this for Niagara Fart? Royal Decree? Interesting. That could be really annoying. Huh. It's random though, right? So even if he damages this, he'll still be rolling between the Arrakis drones? I mean, I could just take care of it. Eliminate that problem entirely. You can have a drone. I'm sure it's random. I'm pretty sure it's random. It's certainly not targeted, but I don't think it's highest. What's up, Mr. Trina? What's up, Damien? Not much. Just playing this, uh, this consume deck and trying not to tank Arma Mar too much. This deck is so much fun. It's just, uh, it's just not very good. This is a point short. Yeah, this is enough. Whatever. What's he really gonna do after this? To 
where we went to the artifact fix, Fortune went to wait till December. Yeah, thankfully. Very glad to see that we're getting an actual fix. Well, hopefully an actual fix in a reasonable time frame. And if we can stay in range with She Troll, like if we stay ahead playing She Troll, we will happily play She Troll into this round. Wait, did my bot die? Oh, my bot died. That's weird. One second. Oh no! Unicode decode error! <laughs> uh oh. That, uh. I may have forgotten Unicode support. Let's see if it's up again. Yeah, I think it's because of your username. <laughs> I thought I fixed that everywhere. I guess I missed it in the spot. Oops. Bob doesn't like foreign names. Well, it's not really... Yeah, yeah. I guess. That's a fair way of saying it. Oops. I wonder if I win the goldfish here. Do I even have to pass when he plays his gales? I'm gonna see if I can outpower Aridin. This is gonna be fun. Five? Well, currently seven. Consider her luxury for more ruins. Uh, I did. There's no space. Yeah, Slizard Ruhin is literally Olgird's plus Mandrake. It's not eight points. Daily loots. Oh, thanks, dude. I swear, if this snipes the Slyzard, I'm pissed. <sighs> Don't do it to me. Ha. Oh. Sile's dead. Amazing. Thank you for saving chat, dude. Now, we could probably pass here. I think we'd win. Okay, whatever. Wow, such value. <laughs> uh, this is even positive points. Have fun with your Karen in hand, yeah. Yurden is godlike in this meta? I don't know if I'd go that far. It's a tech card. Blue coin. Come on. Wait, this hand's this hand is fine, guys. What do you mean? Hmm. 
The downside of a Rockus Queen is when your engines aren't sticking, your leader doesn't do anything. The mulligans hurt, but it's kind of a secondary issue, honestly. That's not very fair. Serious cheat. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel right now. How am I supposed to beat that? That didn't work. Maybe he can't do it. That's both D's gone. If not for the Witchers, yeah, maybe. I think it's more likely that he can't do this in one than that Glusty kills the Siri though. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, okay. We're just dead. We were never getting a pass. Oh, wait. Ran Warrior OP. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow. So wait, how many points did I get back? Ran shot twice, and then I got two Arrakis drones, so I got four points back. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you got drones on my turn? I do, but Rath also goes off during my turn. Like so broken, it pilots itself. <laughs> uh, who needs to do math? Just sit back and let the deck carry you. He's dry passing? He thinks he can dry pass me? Does he know what I am? I'm consume. You can't dry pass consume. I mean, you can. But you're gonna need a lot of interaction. <laughs> Don't do math. If he also plays Yurden, then maybe we're fucked. Who knows? I can have double Ruheen. I want double Ruheen, right? Do I want double Ruheen? I don't really want to renew Vran, right? Adorable. I think he's gonna try to Regis me. Wonder how that's gonna go. Oh no! Oh no! Battle of the Boosts. Well, he's got. He's got a nice one-point return engine going. I have a nice uh, five-point return engine going. Sorry, seven-point return engine going. I don't know if this is a battle he can win. Why did I put that melee? It doesn't make any sense. Immediately punished. And we'll forktail next turn. Oh, do I just want a Glusty? I probably just want a Glusty. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm having fun. I wonder if my opponent's having fun. Contract completed, swing time. No idea what that one is. Is it the one where you're making a board that loses really hard to, like, Igni and Yurden? <laughs> Is 
This deck is so much fun, guys. Like, it's not very good, but it is so much fun. Where can you get this deck? Uh, I don't have it posted anywhere. I'll open up the deck builder after this game. Oh no! Oh no! That's range locked. Thank god. Is my friend fork tail combo? Well, my friend's in my graveyard because I decided to renew my. Corinthia for some reason. You should kill this. Dungeon. I mean, sure, it's also a Rolock. He didn't he didn't kill it. One of the runes is coming back. I don't know, I'll see you in 70 points. You can line up a Regis, but I don't think that does anything. Like, even if this whole row died, it wouldn't make any difference. 